editing eye here, I just wanted to give a little context. This video that you're about to watch is about the process of me melting the port on the Ocotel. The previous video was leading up to this video. So you're seeing this in kind of like real time, but in the past. I have made a video that you may have seen about Ocotel customer support and me fixing my problem. That video is kind of like out of the timeline. This stuff is in the timeline. So enjoy. This is the Ocotel P2001. And I'm trying to figure out if we have a buyer beware situation right here because I had about 12 amps coming into this dip. And I think this port has melted. <laughs> Again, this thing is heavy. I cannot get this out. Yep. This thing says it supports 12 amps. 15 amps is what it's rated at. It's right here on the dip. 15 amps, look at that. Melted like a mug. This is a big issue. You can't trust putting panels in parallel on this joint. Now, it I measured it at 12 amps. <laughs> Even if it went higher, the highest would be 18. But these devices are supposed to cut off the amp inputs coming in. They only pull the amount. And this is their cable. I'm going to pick up right where I left off because... Um, I've been recording a video of putting the uh, two panels that I have, Hyundai 300 watt panels in parallel because I wanted to combine them. And now I just ended up with a situation where I'm out of a power station and its ability to charge with solar, which sucks <laughs> if I'm being honest. This is not the first time this happened. I had two 200 watts in parallel on the ace volt so let me show you that one this is the ace volt and look at its port all melted up the same thing with the uh the cable that came with it and it's interesting because i was just talking with the practical gadgeteer um about me having some trepidation about putting panels in parallel especially 200 watt panels because i have melted a port I thought it was just a fluke with um, with this one because this one was upstairs. Now, these joints were on 10 gauge cable. I checked that gate cable as best as I could. I read the wiring uh, diagram on the side of it or the letters on the side of it. It said 10 gauge. I wanted to be sure. It's a 50 foot cable. The Renergy site, I did some calculations and they said that 50 foot um putting 20 amps through it and 40 volts was not a problem on 10 gauge cable if you're willing to tolerate the losses but this thing overheating like this this is a problem so that's two power stations that can no longer be charged with solar they're essentially just power dumps so in terms of this video that i was recording um these two panels in parallel melted my jack so i just I gotta decide how to move next because the H volt and the Ocotel now have two Anderson jacks that are melted and deformed. The only option I have on deck right now is to risk putting these panels in parallel on the Duran Duran, or I can put them in parallel series on the Pecron. Then I had somebody telling me that the panels in series on the pec round were not performing as well. So that's a whole thing out here in these streets. If you made it this far, as a thank you to you, I'm giving you early access to this video right here, which is the next video that's coming out after this whole debacle and how I started to test another scenario. Now, this is what my Patreon folks typically get access to. So consider becoming a Patreon, but enjoy this video. Check it out. It's pretty cool. It's a version of the video. Anyway, go ahead.